Tokyo Electric Power Company will have an outsider as its new chairman. Under the new leadership, the utility will start to formulate a plan to turn around the troubled business in the wake of last year's nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Kazuhiko Shimokobe will become the new chairman. He's a lawyer and chairman of a steering committee of a state-backed nuclear compensation fund. He accepted the government's offer for the post on Thursday. I will do my best, together with all the employees, and take TEPCO in the right direction. You can do it. Yay! Shimokobe is versed in compliance issues at companies. In 2006, he was a member of an independent panel investigating a high-profile window dressing scandal which involved the internet firm LiveDoor. He also headed a third-party panel vetting TEPCO's management and finances after last year's nuclear accident. The new chairman will play a crucial role in drawing up TEPCO's turnaround proposal. The plan is a condition for the utility to receive public funds over $12 billion. TEPCO must submit the plan by mid uh, May. All right, move on. Nothing to see here. Please disperse. Nothing to see here. Please. Japan's nuclear network is running on empty. The only reactor still in operation goes offline for maintenance and safety checks in about two weeks. Government leaders have promised to seek local approval before units are restarted because of what happened at Fukushima Daiichi. Two reactors in the town of Oi in Fukui Prefecture could be the first to restart. A new NHK survey suggests more than half of the people living in Oi support the plan to fire up the units again, but only a third of citizens in neighboring areas are in favor. NHK conducted the telephone poll last weekend. It surveyed residents in Oi and four neighboring municipalities. The results showed 54% of people in Oi support the plan to restart the reactors. 37% are against it. Only 32% in the neighboring municipalities back the plan. 60% oppose it. The survey also asked whether people are concerned that restarted reactors could be damaged and release radiation into the environment. 71% of people in Oi said yes. So did 84% of their neighbors. The poll also asked whether the government has done a good job of explaining about the safety of restarting the reactors. 29% of people in Oi said it had, as did 19% of their neighbors. I'm concerned about the livelihoods of many neighbors who work at the OE plant, but safety should be fully confirmed before the reactors are restarted. The host town enjoys various benefits from the nuclear plant, but neighboring municipalities do not, so their opinions must be heard. There's no set date for when the two reactors at the Oi plant will go back online. The utility that operates the facility says people in western Japan will face an energy shortfall this summer if the units aren't restarted.